Today we're going to talk about a problem that many smaller companies and smaller marketers face. What to do when you don't have a huge marketing budget. We're also going to talk about the fact that today's consumers no longer respond to advertising. We think Smart Mouth Brewery, who you're going to meet today, is doing some great inexpensive but effective marketing tactics that don't smack the consumer in the face with an ad. Today we're talking with Matt Schneider, the Director of Marketing for Smart Mouth Brewery here in Norfolk, Virginia. How would you describe your brand? What, what is the Smart Mouth brand? The Smart Mouth brand, we put a lot of effort into, but the brand is, really drives a lot of what we do from naming beers to, of course, merchandise, how we talk to consumers, how we talk to our, in our newsletter. We try to have a tone that's a little snarky, a little clever, uh, but still not, not too, too much of a wise guy, you know, still having a little fun with it, but still respectful. A lot of that simply comes from the name Smart Mouth, right? We try to emulate having a kind of a nerdy intellectual side of it, but at the same time geeky and fun a little bit. Okay. So really our tone is kind of what drives the brand. A lot of that has to do with the budget. We don't have a huge marketing budget every year. So how do you guys deal with that? Well, so there's a lot of different things we do. What would you say is the biggest idea or the biggest thing that's kind of guiding your guys' success as a business now? A big part of what we try to do is just create content that's unique. Uh, that, at the end of the day, seems to work. Getting stuff that people will send to their friends, that people will be engaged with, from videos that we do, from the branding, the merchandise we do. Uh, we kind of see all of that as an advertising or, or marketing opportunity. One of the things I did would, first when I came on board was to change our website up. We designed it, obviously, to be mobile first, and that came straight from analytics. You know, 75% of people that were looking at our website were looking at it on their phone. So stuff like that's a no-brainer. It's pretty easy. What do you guys do today to get your messages out? We have a weekly newsletter that we put out. There's not a lot of companies that do a weekly newsletter. There's no other breweries I'm aware of. Really? Okay. But we found that it works because people are able to stay in touch and there's a lot of things that are happening. There's a right. lot of events. There's new beers coming. You know, you talked about, you know, being specific with your advertising. A big part of what we do is social, of course. And we're also able to analyze and target the specific people we want to talk to. So a lot right. of people are getting not on Facebook or people are yeah. uh, not going to websites as often not as often, but they want to hit the social venues first. Another just kind of unique uh, area to pursue that we've had success with is just not even digital, but I guess guerrilla, right? That's, okay. the, that's the correct term for marketing, yep. marketing class. We built a can man, which is essentially a giant foam suit made to okay. look like one of our cans. And he comes out at parties, stuff like that. Just finding ways to get the brand out there that people would see it in a unique way. Uh, and people take selfies, you know, we're in the age of the selfie and people yep. see a guy in a can mascot. And, okay. you know, they take pictures and whatnot. So we, we try to make sure we're giving people stuff that's unique. Cool. So, you know, you mentioned that you do um, events. Yeah. So how do you guys deal with that? So we try to make sure we're doing events that are important, not just phoning it in. We recently had a fundraiser, um, big joke in craft beers that so many of the brewers have big beards, right? Oh, that's and I cool. came from the head brewer, just said, I want to do this. I've been growing this beard. I want to, you know, us do something with it. Use that symbol of beards to try to help out the community. So we just did a shave a had brewers from all over Hampton Roads just this past Saturday uh, and raised about almost $7,000 for oh, CHKD. Cool. So merch, merch is advertising. So, you know, anytime somebody's wearing a sweatshirt or has the keychain, you know, that's, like I said, it's another ad. At the end of the day, we really try to curate a lot of what goes out and see all of those as many billboards or many ads themselves, knowing that, oh, my you know, my friend has that shirt or, oh, what's that? It right. gives you a little bit of credibility also. There's that cool factor, if you will, also, right? And, you know, everybody wants the keychain and everybody wants a cool swag shirt. So, you know, that's, that's great for you guys. Yeah, it's an opportunity to have a little fun with it. You know, we could just put our logo on shirts or, or hoodies but we don't just put a logo on thing. We want a drawing or we want to specify a certain beer or we just want something weird. You know, we did a shirt that was just a can man mascot on a shirt because okay. it would just be funny yep. and because people would get into it. Um, so we certainly take that seriously, uh, but also you know, have fun with it. Yeah, I love your labels, you know, with with all like kind of the equations and, yeah. you know, I never really put that two and two together, the whole like smart nerdy, but smart mouth at the same time kind of, uh, yeah. Twist on it, if you will. I think that's really cool, actually, because, you know, and then your labels kind of nail it, if you will, right? Great. So, I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, it's fun, and it's a way to, you know, be... Craft beer is 
a little nerdy in, in some ways. Beer education is a big part of it. Understanding where things come from ingredients-wise, understanding the variety of styles, and then just you know having some diversity in what you drink. So yep. we, we want to make sure that's part of it too, but not just be too dry about it. Okay. So that's part of it. We ride a lot, ride that line of equations, uh, but witty banter also. So one last question: What's your favorite beer? Uh, I'm a fan of the Pilsner, actually, uh, the Safety Dance Pilsner. We uh, started putting this beer in a can last year, uh, and it's had a pretty good, pretty good response. Um, this beer also actually won um, kind of best of show at Virginia Craft Brewers Festival this past year. Um, I liked it before it was cool. All right. Well, cool. I appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thanks. So you can see there's a lot of ways to get your message out there, and the key is really to have fun with what you're doing. Smart Mouth has taken that fun and made it integral to their brand. That smart, nerdy, fun kind of attitude has really become their brand standards. Just look at all the options you have. Once you know your brand positioning and messaging, how can you use those messages and push them out there without a lot of cost? First, think about your content marketing, things like your website. Make sure you followed solid SEO tenants and built it for your mobile screens. Things like your newsletter, push that out through email. Of course, everyone knows to use social, but make sure you're using your channels correctly. And then, as you heard Matt talk about, some great ideas for guerrilla marketing, such as their Can Man mascot, their charity events, and of course, their merchandising. These are all ideas that can get your message out there without spending a lot of money and without putting ads in the face of the consumer. Well, thanks for tuning in, folks. I want to thank Matt for uh, participating here. We hope you found this very useful and educational. And uh, if you want more information on 7th Point, feel free to give us a call or check us out at 7thpoint.com. Have a great day.